Welcome to another video. Let's find the number of even numbers greater than 200 but less than 20,000 that can be generated using only the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, but no repetitions are allowed. So once you use the number once, you can't use it. Once you use the digit once, you can't use it again. So what do we do? Definitely, let's, let's just talk about the main issue here. If a number is greater than 200, that number must have at least three digits because a two-digit number is less than 200 and a single-digit number is less than 200. So the minimum number of digits we're going to be starting with is three. So we could have three-digit numbers or four-digit numbers or five-digit numbers. We cannot have six-digit numbers because we don't have six digits. We only have five. So we have three, four, and five. Now, the three-digit part was the question I posted in the community uh, as a community post, and I got a number of correct answers. Um, some were still incorrect. So that part is taken care of. I'm just going to show you how I did mine, which corresponds to how some people showed their work. However, we're going to go to four digits and five digits. So let's get into it. The first case we're going to look at is when the numbers we're looking for are three-digit numbers greater than 200. They are ob obviously less than 20,000. Okay, so what do we do? Because it has to be an even number, we have to look at the last digits first. That's important. So, and let's do it case by case. The first case is when the last digit is zero. So case one, last digit, zero. Then we only have one option here, which is going to be zero. Now, if we come here to the first digit, because the digit, the number has to be greater than 200, we cannot pick one. Because if you pick a three digit number that starts with one, it is less than 200, it doesn't meet the condition. So after you've picked zero, the only options you have left are two, three, and four to be the first digit. So we have three options there. Okay, now, the last digit is zero. We've picked one number to be the first digit. How many numbers are left? We have three options in the middle because um, we have zero and one other number. So there are three other numbers. So if we multiply these together, we get nine. So second condition is that we're not using zero. Let's now use another number. Um, if we want to use other numbers, they could either be two if we want to have a last digit, you have either two or four, right? In the second option, last digit, two or four. Okay, those are the options. It means that this last spot has two options. Now let's go. If we picked two or four, what options do we have for the first digit? Definitely, the first digit cannot be zero and cannot be one right? The first digit cannot be zero and it cannot be one. So um, it has to be two of these three because one of them is already used here. Okay. So we have two options for the first digit. And how many options do we have for the second digit? We have three options because one is here, one is here. So we have three options. So what do we get here? This is 12. And this gives us a total of 21 numbers. So there are 21 three-digit numbers greater than 200 that satisfy the conditions. So let's go to the four-digit numbers. For four-digit numbers, any four-digit number is greater than 200, so I don't need to worry about the position of one in this case. So let's just uh, start with the case of if the last digit is zero. So if the last digit is zero, okay? Hey, zero, let's put zero like this. The last digit is zero, we have one option here. The first digit can be any number, any of the remaining numbers would work because it doesn't matter what it is. There are four digits greater than 200. So, um, so we're gonna have four options here. And then here, 
there is no restriction. We have three options and here we have two options. So that's how we generate this when the last digit is zero and this is um, four factorial, that's 24. Okay, what about the last digit? Last digit is two or four because those are the even numbers that we have. So the last spot is gonna have two options. Okay, the first spot will have how many options? Well, we've used one number, one of these numbers in that spot. Okay, um, we cannot include zero in the options. Okay, so how many options do we have left? If we've used one of these two, we have three. So we have three options here. Now, no more restrictions in the middle. So we could have zero or whatever anywhere. So how many numbers have been used? We've used these two. So we have three here and we have two here. Okay, so what's the total? We're gonna have nine times four, that's 36. Oh, that gives us a total of 64 digit numbers that satisfy these conditions. So let's go to the last one, five digit number. Okay, five digit. Should we do the last digit thing again? Zero being last? Okay, let me do that again. If the last digit is zero, okay? Last digit is zero. Since I've done it in all the two cases before, let's do it again. So the very last digit has one option. Remember the condition, whatever number you're picking has to be less than 20,000. It means when you go here, after you fix zero, you cannot pick any of these numbers as the first digit here. You can only pick one. So there is only one option here. The last digit is zero, the first digit must be one, okay? So now in the middle, we can just play with the rest. No repetition, so there are three numbers left. Here there are two numbers, here there's one. So how many numbers do we have? One times, this is six. Nice. So second condition, the last digit is either two or four. So last digit is two or four. So the last spot has two options. Okay. How many options does the first spot have? I didn't need to break this into two cases, but it's okay. Uh, this first spot is, must still be one. Remember, you can't use any other number. So there's one here. So how many options do we have? This is so not smart. I should have just done it once. It's okay. Please forgive me. Okay, and this is gonna be three. And what options do I have here is the same thing. You have two and it's one. Okay, so how many options? I have um, six times two, 12. So I have a total of 18 options here. So by the time we add everything up together, what's gonna happen? We have 78 plus 21. What is that? 